How is it going guys? It is the Peruvian Trucker back with another video rocking the awesome Scooby-Doo shirt for those that love 80s and 90s cartoons. This is one of the best ones. I can give or take the movies. And I'm coming at you from the pilot in I-24 North in the Tennessee Kentucky border. Today, I am going to debunk two of the biggest myths that I've heard in trucking. Myth number one, you can never take any time off as a lease driver. You, you work to pay off the truck, you're never going to get time off, you're going to end up in the hole, you're not going to make any money, etc, etc, etc. Myth number two, you will never get to get to take any time off as a lease operator, especially if you live in Florida. There's never any good loads coming out of Florida. Let's get to it. So it's been a couple weeks. I took home time on Labor Day weekend with the intention to just stay there for four days. The plan was to arrive on Friday and leave Monday night, Tuesday, the latest. But I ended up staying the full week. But before I get into the pay, I want to break down once again how the, the pay works at Prime. I believe I've mentioned it in the past but just in case a quick refresher so the pay at prime is weekly we get paid every week every friday and in order for you to get paid or on any given friday you have until the previous wednesday of that same week to submit all your paperwork wednesday at 5 p.m central time is the cutoff to submit any paperwork and get paid on that friday so when I went home, if I'm, I, I don't remember if it was on Tuesday night or Wednesday in the day, I delivered my uh, a load and I picked up a load in Texas heading for Gainesville, Florida. So on the first half of my vacation or home time, it's a vacation, the only load that I had on that pay period going home. So like I mentioned, I went on vacation from Friday and I ended up extending my vacation to the following Thursday. So Thursday at 3 p.m. I set off for Fort Pierce to pick up my trailer. I pick up my trailer in Fort Pierce, I sleep in the truck at the Tropicana facility and at roughly six in the morning Friday, I head back south to Homestead to pick up my, my first load for that week. That was a load that was going from Homestead to Maryland. And on that Friday morning, I received my settlement for the previous week, the one with the load going to Gainesville from Texas that took me, that took me home. For that load, I, if I'm not mistaken, it was a little over $300, maybe $330, maybe $360, I really don't remember, but let's call it $300. $300, for that week for that one load let me remind you that those three hundred dollars are before taxes we subtract for 30 for we subtract the 30 percent which means that i took home two hundred dollars that is after taxes after the cost of the truck after fuel after everything to my pocket two hundred dollars to get home I picked up the load in Homestead and I'm heading north to Maryland. And then after Maryland, I picked up a load going from Virginia to Detroit, Michigan. The thing is that that load didn't deliver until Thursday. So basically, I only made, I only had two loads around my home time. I had the load going from Waco, Texas to Gainesville. 
Knoxville that brought me home. And then I had the load going from Hialeah, Florida to Maryland. Don't remember the city. In Maryland, on my way out. And like I mentioned already, on the way in to Florida, I only got $300. Now, on the way out of Florida, I had to pay for gas. Between going to pick up my trailer and going to pick up the load, I spent some, some money on gas. So, I did the load going from Hialeah to Maryland, and for that load, which is the only load that went on my week, let's just call it, this is the week that started halfway through my home time and ended the following Wednesday. I got $1,600, which, again, does, it may not sound like a lot, but you have to include that I, I was home, so I only worked for, it was like I, I picked that up on Thursday, on Thursday, sorry, I picked it up on Friday and I delivered it on Sunday. So I only worked for three days and uh, that's that, that covered for that one load coming out of Florida, covered for the truck, covered for the gas that took me from Gainesville on the previous Friday all the way to my house, the gas that took me from my house all the way to pick up my trailer in Fort Pierce and back to um, Hialeah, Florida, and the gas all the way to my um, delivery address in Pennsylvania, sorry, in, in, sorry, in Maryland. So if you take all that into consideration, which is more than half a tank, Really, it was like, I mean, maybe a little bit less because I did bobtail, but like at least 500 miles between going all over Florida. <laughs> uh, I still made it well, with $1,600 before taxes. Subtract 30%, let's just call it $600. So, okay, I made $1,000. So take home. $1,200 throughout my home time between going home and getting out of Florida. $1,200, which $1,200 paid vacation? I mean, I, I did the job. I didn't get paid for sitting. But, you know, that sounds to me like a really good number. And, you know, it's, it's funny because I had a friend when I when I mentioned that I was gonna go lease, they always say the same thing. They say, oh, you're gonna work to pay for the truck, you're not gonna get any time off, that's what everybody says, you're gonna be in the hole. I wasn't in the hole. I had $1,200 after all my expenses were covered. And as you guys know, as a lease operator, or even as an owner operator, just because you go home, your expenses don't take a break. You still have to pay for truck insurance if you're an owner operator, assuming your truck's already paid off. If you're a lease operator, you still gotta pay for the truck, you still have to pay for all your permits and expenses and whatever that's included in your chunk truck payment. Um, and all that was covered. I still came out with $1,200 after having a great time with my family for Labor Day weekend and then some. Um, if you factor in that I had to pay $400 for my tow, Okay, I came out with $800. So bad. But anyway, this is that's it, guys. This is going to be a short video. I just want to talk about that. Um, if you are uh, considering coming into Prime, I appreciate the fact that you're checking my videos. Hopefully, I'm giving you some insight. If you're thinking about coming into lease, um, hopefully this... Uh, answers a couple quick well answers the big mystery about uh, home time and especially if you're from Florida uh, with that being said of course this was a really good scenario it's not always gonna be like that sometimes the loads might not be as good coming out of Florida but you break even you get a really good load coming in and not the best load coming out but good enough to get you going